Traveling along I-35 north from Kansas City to Minnesota is totally hallucinogenic. There's not a whole lot going on. Just rolling hills and occasional truck stops. Stuff like these cranes could really get you excited out there. Anyway, most of the truck stops look something like this Flying J in Williams, Iowa, which has a population of 338. These giant gas stations come complete with their own subways and travel plazas. There's coffee in case you're getting tired or something, and candy for the kids and for grown-up adults, too. <laughs> These kinds of giant, strategically located outposts have for the most part bought out or taken over their competition. But across the off-ramp thing from that Flying J, there's a more different kind of stop still extant called Boondocks USA. I always stop there on my way up. It just has a kind of funny, self-mocking charm about it. For instance, here's their local weather station rock. Really funny stuff. <laughs> and the place even has its own gift shop. Here, as before, you can buy all the essentials. And there's even Boondocks USA branded clothes so you can impress your families. They come in all sizes, and the owner of Boondocks, Bob Welch, says since the place opened in 1973, they've sold about half a million Boondocks caps and t-shirts. But Bob says that Boondocks USA has managed to stay in business because of diversification. Connected to the gas station and gift shop, they have a motel and a cafe. I stopped to eat there and tried some breaded gizzards for $8.50. Basically, it was really chewy. Sarah tried some too. Anyway, there might be a reason why the place doesn't have a single review above two stars. But the waitresses were really nice and told us some funny stories about customers. One guy came in. And he was walking through, and I noticed that he was wearing a thong. <laughs> and it was kind of crazy, but then the next day I was working, coming back in, wearing a thong again, you see me right out of the store. I'm like, whoa. I didn't know if it was a joke or anything, but it was kind of crazy. <laughs> we also asked them about Boondock's eccentric owner, Bob Welch. He is a little strange, I'll tell you that. <laughs> He likes to give us waitresses a lot of crap if we don't do something right. <laughs> yeah. Like what? Uh, like, I'm not supposed to have my tattoos. I'm supposed to have them covered up. Mm -hmm. But he's oh, yeah. not here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm supposed to take my piercings out, which I did. Because I got my nose longer. Mm -hmm. And he always gives, like, kids orders and tells them not to get tattoos till they're lifted. Yep. The guy that owns this, he's he a dick. <laughs> Straight up, he can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. On Boondocks USA's 50th anniversary this year, one has to wonder if it's Bob's dickishness that helped him keep the place open this long. This year alone he's been involved in three court cases defending the place in various ways. Well. Most basically, I guess I hope that there's a future for places like this. And not just because they threw me out of the Flying J when I tried to film there, but because those kinds of places are so stodgy and sterile. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>